Hello, I am Christopher Cola Gaming. Welcome back to JMR Recap, where we're going to be discussing Race 4 of the Sand Marble Rally Season 7 A and B League. So, you know what? I'm not going to stall this time. Let's jump right into it. Race 4 of the B League opened up with a very familiar sight that we're getting pretty used to seeing in this B League this year, El Capitan immediately taking the lead, but they were immediately thrust into battle with Quicksilver and Summer Sky going back and forth for the lead. But as they went through a 90 degree turn early in the track, Summer Sky would fall out of the top 6 completely and Marbly McMarbleface would jump to 2nd. Cool Moody was then able to gain a bunch of spots in this wide section, jumping all the way into 2nd place, but this would be short lived and then end up falling back down the order relatively quickly. As the racers go through an even more open section, we see Wisp of Darkness charge from 4th place all the way up into briefly 1st and fighting with El Capitan for the lead. But as the marbles all got closer together, when they all slammed into that wall about halfway through the track, it lets Summer Sky come back into 1st place, passing El Capitan, one of the first lead changes of the race. And they'd end up going back and forth for a bit, but it would be Summer Sky who would end up holding the lead for longer. Despite some attempts by El Capitan to make some last minute moves on Summer Sky, it would be Summer Sky who would come across the line in first, El Capitan in second, and Quicksilver in third. Black Knight and Cobra both got fourth and fifth respectfully, and there were bottom two marbles heading into this race, so that still gives them a glimmer of hope in their lackluster season so far. Last race's winner, Big Curl, had an underwhelming ninth place finish to this race, and race 1's winner, Green Turtle, had an even more underwhelming 10th place finish to this race. Green Turtle especially has been rather underwhelming this season after their race 1 victory. El Capitan's third medal in 4 races this race lets them extend their lead over 2nd place Big Pearl by now 11 points. This race's winner, Summer Sky, was able to jump 6 places up into 3rd place with their first medal of the season, they have 32 points. Our biggest loser in positions was Deep Ocean who fell 4 spots to 9th place. And with both Black Knight and Cobra having decent outings this race, as you would expect, we have a new dead last racer, and that is 12th place H2 Blue with 0 medals and 15 points. But that's enough said about the B League race, let's get into the A League race. The start of the A League race saw my very own Ghost Plasma briefly take the lead out of the gate, but then they took a bad bump off the wall and lost like 8 spots in a couple seconds, letting the top of the leaderboard kind of jumble around a bit, but it would eventually settle out to being Duct Tape, Nemo, and Silver Bolt making up our top three. That would be until Blazing Fireball was able to narrowly pass by Puyo Loco in the thinner straightaway, and then just straight up outran Duct Tape in the wider straightaway to take the lead in the race. Blazing Fireball would continue you running nicely until they took a horrible entrance into this divided section, letting Puyo Loco, Blue Moon, and Crazy Cat's Eye all pass them, Blue Moon would end up taking the lead with Puyo Loco in 2nd. Blue Moon would end up holding their lead and winning the race with Puyo Loco coming in 2nd, and Crazy Cat's Eye coming in 3rd. Blue Moon, who had just gotten their first podium back in race 1 of this season, now has their first win in the history of their Save Marvel Rally campaign. You just gotta think about what could have been for Blazing Fireball if they didn't take a poor entrance to that divided section, but they still managed to finish the race in 4th place. My own marble and our very brief race leader, Ghost Plasma, was able to recover back to 10th after losing a bunch of spots very early in the race, but that still only scores them 6 points. The league leader, Reflector, came in 19th place, the last marble who actually finished the race to come across the line, only scored 1 point, which is gonna let Blue Moon uh, creep up on them in the overall standings. Speaking of the overall standings, I wasn't lying about Blue Moon, they are now only 1 point behind 1st place Reflector after Reflector held an over 10 point advantage after race 3. Our biggest gainer of positions in the A League was Blazing Fireball, who gained 5 spots, jumping to 14th. And on the opposite side of the spectrum, our biggest loser of positions was Lollipop, who lost 5 spots and fell to 16th place. Just a little fun fact I want to throw out there, in the 4 races the A League has had, we have now had 2 instances where the race winner from last race scored 1 point in the next race. Grasshopper won race 1 and scored 1 point in race 2, and Reflector won race 3 and scored 1 point in race 4. I just thought that was kinda cool. And last, and definitely least, Comet in 20th place remains our only marble to not have scored over 10 points yet. 
that's all I have to talk about today. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of JMR Recap. If you decided to watch this whole episode of JMR Recap and decided not to subscribe to my YouTube channel, that is your choice, but be advised, I will show up at your house tomorrow and throw actual marbles at you through your window until you decide to subscribe to the channel. So just keep that in mind. But anyway, uh, I'll see you next time uh, on Friday for JMR Recap of Race 5. And yeah, so um, see you then.